First the protests, now the hikes as the ball drops. More than a dozen states will hike their minimum wage in the new year. President Obama also calling to raise the federal minimum wage. He and fellow Democrats say it will help workers. Jonathan, any indication that would help workers? No, Eric, minimum wage hurts jobs, particularly low-skilled jobs. That's not my opinion. That's what the Department of Labor said back in 1938 when the first minimum wage was enacted. Why? Because wages are not arbitrary. They're not based on whim or feeling. They're actually based, like any price, on the realities of the marketplace. And minimum wage is price fitting. It's destructive because if an employer has to pay somebody $15 an hour, a an hour for a job that's only worth $7 or $8 an hour for the job, they're going to go bankrupt or have have to reduce their productivity accordingly. Yeah, it's terrible for the yeah, economy. Or Wayne, the other option is those jobs will go overseas. China has almost no two dollars and fifty cents or so an hour. Uh, I'm sorry, a day. And India has twenty eight cents an hour. These minimum wages, those will get the jobs, the lower, the lower wage jobs from America, right? You're absolutely right, Eric. You know there's competition for jobs just like there is for every other product that we, we do in a free market system. When you cut that free market, you made a point earlier about in the, in the health care that the, that the uh, insurance companies could not cross state lines. That is why there was no competition among them to bring down the cost. Now, if you have competition with labor, that will bring down the cost. If you fix that and you do it by fiat and you said, oh, everybody's going to get X dollars, then there is no competition. And you're right. Those jobs, if they are set in this country, or in this state or this county or this city, they'll go somewhere else. All right, Jimu, every time I talk to a liberal about this topic, they tell me, oh, you need to offer a living wage. All right, so here's my question to you, and I ask the same question over and over. If $10 is, is okay for a minimum wage, why not make it 100 <laughs> well, Eric, let's keep in mind those great words from Chris Kringle. Christmas isn't just a day, it's a frame of mind. That being said, Jonathan had to go to 1938 for his talking points. There is common sense in the fact that if Americans are working hard and playing by the rules, they should be making a livable wage. And working full time right now on the minimum wage is $15,000. But, 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 but Jamu, please just, Trader just, Joe's, just, just, just hold they on. They recognize just, it's Jamu, a winning please, formula. Please, Happy just, people, just, higher profits. Just answer the question. Why not make it $100 an hour? Well, that's just ridiculous. But well, well, if conservatives well, why hadn't stopped raising the minimum wage in line money, with inflation, as long as you're going to give away other people's money, as long as you're going to give away other people's money, why not make it? Why not go big or go home? No one, no one is asking for that. We are asking for it to be raised in line with the cost of living increases, in line with inflation. If that had happened, the minimum wage would be over ten dollars already. Right. If the captains of industry I, I, had shared some of the productivity I just, that workers have contributed, you know? the minimum wage would be over twenty dollars an hour. Michelle when in here, you guys. have, I'll get, I'll get back to you, John. I want to get Michelle in. Go ahead, Michelle. <laughs> You know, you talk about common sense, Jamu. If you want to talk about common sense, if you raise the minimum wage, businesses need to adjust for that added cost. They're not just going to be okay with reduced profits. What they're going to do is they're going to reduce benefits, re cut hours, and cut jobs in response to that. Not true. Right now, yeah, young people... Yes, hold, hold it is on, true. On. And the people who are going to be hurt the most are minorities and young people. Right, right now, young people right. have an 18% unemployment rate. Young black people have 23% unemployment. Those are the people you are going to hurt, right. Jamu. Quick thought, John. You raised the thought, minimum Wayne, wage. Go. They put Quick. that money back into small businesses. Go ahead, John. Well, I, I mean, the minimum wage, we, we talk about it as it's this integral part of the economy. And my, I wasn't a talking point, Jamu. It was just the finding of the it Department is. of Labor back in 1938 when the minimum, first minimum wage was enacted. But forget even the practical right. argument, which is obvious. Quickly talk about the moral one. This is an employer and employee coming to a mutually beneficial agreement. Now you're going to say government's going to come in and say no. Right. You can't act Guys, out of your I own self-interest. In a free country, one, people one can do it. One final thought, Wayne. Go ahead. Yes, yes. The biggest problem in all of this is that our federal, state, and local governments are going to have to raise those things. We got states, we got five cities in the state of California already filed for bankruptcy. You've got Detroit in bankruptcy. You're going to have more bankruptcies because of this, because this, they have to uh, 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 sign on to this, this raise. And federal, state, and local governments cannot afford it unless right. your taxes are willing, unless you're willing to pay more taxes. We need for to it. go right now. A great discussion. A lot more to talk about.